So when you look back, how would you kind of summarize the journey that you've been on, each one of you, both individually and together here at Canyon Ridge over the last year or so? I came first with my friend, Callie, and I was just so overcome. Um, I hadn't been to church in years. She invited me, invited me, invited me, and I didn't go. Finally, one day, do you want to go to church? And I did, and I haven't missed a service yet. I remember you guys would just come out after service and you would just hang hey. out here. <laughs> just kind of, you were loitering, right? Yes. Right after church and you would just kind of watch and this is where you met people, right? And this is where I met you for the first time, right? Yes. And that was exactly what we were doing. We were hanging out, we wanted to meet people. Yeah. They came to my office, I'll never forget, and just told me this incredible story of how God had literally saved Joe's life, how Shelly had just stood faithfully with him through the whole process. And kind of ever since you took the first step to share your story, you guys have kind of been on a journey. Shelly, for you, what was kind of your biggest takeaway out of Discover Canyon Ridge? I met a lady who had an amazing testimony and she was um, having a difficult time at that moment. I just told her, I've been wanting to start a prayer group. Can I add you to my prayer text? And if you need something, just reach out, please. I'll be happy to text, you know, text with you. And we did, we connected by prayer. She reached out a couple times. I feel like every step that I'm taking is for a reason. I'm being led this way for a reason. For me, it was meeting Sheldon. He and I just bonded, going through the classes with him and then us building, uh, building the friendship that we still have. It started for me when I joined my first Bible study, Savannah's, and uh, she was nervous doing it. And I loved it. It was something that I, I wanted to do. In fact, I was, after Savannah's, I wanted to put on my own, and I just, I couldn't get started. And me and one of my friends said, okay, well, this is for us. This is our time then. We wanted to do this. And I tell you what, I mean, we have met an amazing group of women. That's awesome. And now we're in a and now we're in a couples uh, group. As my faith grows, um, I I become a little bolder. So you kind of took a step in serving, just trying to really join a team to meet some yeah. people. Just uh, I just knew that God was calling me, mm -hmm. and I just I didn't know what to do. I knew these guys walking around in these safety shirts and I was like, wow, that seems kind of cool. Maybe that's, maybe that's my place. I think about the people that I've met through serving. It's just uh, building those friendships through serving. So you've kind of been on this journey, both of you are just jumping in, finding a team, finding some great people, making some great connections, and that's made a big church small. What are you looking forward to? What are you hopeful for into the future? I just want to give. God is just guiding me and telling me to do this and do this and leading Discover, uh, meeting other people. My biggest fear was being asked a question that I'm not gonna be able to answer. But now uh, my confidence is, is, is so high from all of the other experiences I feel. Each step that I've taken, my confidence level has just... Well, you guys are an example <laughs> to all of us. Thanks for just uh, being faithful, showing up again and again, uh, not pretending like you have all the answers, but just being willing to let God use you. Uh, we could all learn from each one of you, and I am excited to just watch uh, the journey of the story that God's writing in your life continue to unfold.